Uh, hello viewers, uh, today's topic is uh, how to make or can, is it possible that parents can make their formula milk at home? Well, the United States Food and Drug Administration Agency uh, and the American Academy of Pediatricians you know, recommend against uh, homemade infant formulas. And uh, this is due to the fact that uh, these formulas do not meet uh, all of an infant's nutritional needs, you know. And uh, a cow milk protein that has uh, uh, not been cooked or processed appropriately is difficult for an infant to digest and it may damage an infant's uh, uh, immature kidneys, you know, uh, or intestines or causing anemia from bleeding in the bowel, you know. And uh, the today's infant formula is very controlled uh, state of thought production uh, that cannot be duplicated at home. And it's not possible um, uh, to prepare that milk at such a high standard, you know. So, so what type of the formulas parents uh, should give to their babies? This is the next important question, you know. Well, the most uh, infants and the children will thrive on a cow's milk based uh, or uh, lactose containing formula such as uh, Similac, you know. Uh, which is uh, also known as uh, Abbott Nutrition or uh, Enfamil, which is uh, made Johnson Pharmaceuticals, you know, and uh, Good um, good Start, which is manufactured by Nestle. And there are a number of uh, smaller uh, companies uh, that produce uh, routine application formulas um, and uh, that may be sold at large stores as well as a number of big uh, box stores, you know, like and uh, the market uh, they own uh, uh, formulas you know so there are different companies that are marketing different formulas you know the some infants may be lactose intolerant and uh, will better tolerate lactose free milk based formulas such as uh, uh, enfamil lacto free uh, which is prepared by, from the uh, med johnson pharmaceuticals you know and uh, Similac uh, lactose free which is made from uh, Abbott Nutrition. Now, for children who are recovering from the infections uh, like diarrhea and gastroenteritis, you know, the short term use of the lactose free formulas may help to decrease the cramps, you know, and the diarrhea. And uh, uh, this should only be temporarily changed, you know, and uh, reintroduced to the standard formulas uh, uh, once uh, that phase is over, you know. But some parents uh, of uh, lactose intolerant patients, uh, infants uh, may prefer to use uh, soy uh, protein based milk formulas, you know, such as um, uh, uh, the product uh, Isomil, you know, which is uh, manufactured by the Abbott Nutrition and uh, Prosobi, which is uh, produced by uh, Mid Johnson Pharmaceuticals and uh, L Soy by the Nestle, you know. And the infants who are allergic to cow milk protein can also use the soy based formulas. So you need to be very careful when you are uh, you choosing the formula for your uh, infant, you know. So you should keep all these things in mind that he is not lactose free, uh, lactose intolerant or the cow milk based protein uh, intolerant or any other problems, you know. So uh, you should consult your pediatrician if you are more concerned. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about uh, any disease or medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesentertainment.com And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.